Hey guys, welcome back. So today is gonna be my q and I feel like it's taken way too long. So I just wanna thank you guys for being so patient with me. I'm just super, super, super bad about talking about myself. So I kinda figured if you ask me questions, I'm really good at answering. So I was like, let's do a q and a So yeah, that's what we're doing. If I sound a little funny, I know I said that in the last one. But it is spring, I was out this weekend with my sisters and I spent a lot of time outdoors and I have super bad allergies. So they're just, yeah, they're just catching up with me and it sucks. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and jump us straight into this q and I asked you guys to send me questions on Instagram and Snapchat. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with Instagram first. First question I got on Instagram was, what gave you the courage to start a YouTube channel? Like, I really don't know if it was like more of like courage or me just being like content and like satisfied with myself at that current moment in time. Like, I was just like, I I felt like I was like, I don't care what anyone thinks about me because I'm very like content and like happy with myself. That I was like, if even if people didn't receive my content well. I would be okay with it. I'd be like, okay, well that just wasn't for me. That wasn't my path, you know? The next question is, have you ever used hard candy color corrector primer? You're so pretty. Oh, thanks boo. Um, I have never used hard candy color corrector primer. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's a primer, obviously. But no, I have never used that. Um, next question is, what is your favorite makeup brand? Um, for the longest time, it was MAC the Studio Fix, not the Studio Fix Fluid, the Match Master in 9.5, but everyone knows like they they discontinued 9.5 and 10, which made me really, really, really sad. I hated that, I was so mad. But um, to be honest, at this point, I don't know if I have an exact like, oh, okay, that's my favorite, because I feel like I had to experiment so much and not one company got like the whole complete line correct for me. So I don't know if I have an exact favorite makeup company, I do have favorite products, but I don't know if I have an exact favorite like makeup company. So the next question is from Haley Stokes 37 She said, hi Nima, I love your videos. Do you have any fun plans for the summer? Oh my God, I really wish I did have some fun plans. I wanted to go back home to South Sudan for a little bit, but I don't know if that's really gonna happen right now. I feel like a lot of things are moving really fast, so I don't know if that's in my plans for right now, but um, besides that, I think that was the only fun plans that I had, um, so no. The next question is from Candy V. Do you feel like YouTube has changed your life in any way? What tips do you recommend to a person who just started a YouTube channel? How old are you? When is your birthday? And sorry for all the questions. <laughs> you could boo. Um, so I guess I'll answer the first one first. That would make sense, right? The first one. So she said, do you feel like YouTube has changed your life in any way? Honestly, there are some differences that I've seen in my life that I'm very, very grateful for and very, very thankful for. And I feel like without YouTube, I would not have the opportunity that I have currently. But it has all happened so fast for me that I feel like I'm still like stuck at like 5,000 subscribers and I... Like, I, I don't know, it's still, I don't feel like it's still truly hit me yet, like, that I'm a YouTuber. Like, that's so, I don't know. Like, I don't think it's hit me yet. Um, what tips do you recommend to a person who just started a YouTube, who is just starting a YouTube channel? I guess one tip I can say, give that I know for sure worked for me is you have to be passionate about the content that you're creating. Because when I first started on YouTube, um, I was seeing other people's growth and it kind of made me feel a little like, okay, well, what am I doing? I'm not really growing as much or whatever. And that was just me being impatient because truly like I had just started and I was only like two months in and I was just already being impatient. <clears throat> but you have to be really, really passionate about the content you're creating, just the things that you're doing because it does require a lot of time and a lot of energy and a lot of effort so I think that's one tip, but I feel like that's a tip that everybody gives, but that's just my, that's the only tip I feel confident in giving right now. How old am I? I am 26 years old. I just recently celebrated my 26th birthday. 
uh, which is the next question. When is your birthday? April 3rd. Yay, I'm an Aries. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but you know, I'm an Aries. <laughs> so next question is, what is your favorite eyeshadow palette from Alexis Nicole? Uh, my favorite eyeshadow palette of currently is, like you guys know, I don't wear eyeshadow on a daily basis. This is like the look that you guys see on my eyes right now is the look I go for like every day. Like this is my, just no. Like I don't wear eyeshadow on a daily basis. But if I had to choose, I would choose the Morphe, the 350 Mattes palette because I'm a more of a matte person versus like a shimmer, shimmery person. What advice do you have for young dark skin girls getting the courage to be comfortable in their skin? So I just did a video on this recently and that video took a lot. It didn't take a lot, but it's something that I really, really wanted to film and really wanted to put out there into the world. And I think that's, I got all of my tips and advice that I had for this specific topic, I put into that video. My number one tip is just find your safe space and then within your safe space, work on yourself and build yourself up until you can stand on your own without your safe space. That's my number one tip. Anna Baridan said, hi Nima, I love your videos. If you could be a model of any brand, which one would you choose? Love from Argentina. Hey, hey boo. Um, if I had to choose to be a model for any brand, um, I don't know why, this is probably gonna sound super awkward, but that's the first thing that came to my mind is I would be a shoe model for Christian Louboutins because I really like my feet. I don't know why, like I think I have decent looking feet and I feel like those shoes are just freaking hot. Um, Styles and Textiles asked me, what are your favorite colors to wear for makeup and clothes? So my favorite color for lipstick is obviously red. I love a good nude, but if I wanna like pop, like I love red. Um, for clothes, I love white. Um, I love black, but I feel like if I had to choose, I'd choose white. So red and white are my favorite. Have you met any other YouTubers in real life? Um, I have met Ellery and I met Alyssa Ashley at Elf Beautyscape and they were both really, really, really sweet and super kind, so that was really fun. Um, uh, Elwi said, what is the meaning of beauty in your perspective? Love your videos. Oh, thanks, boo. The definition of beauty is how you value yourself. Like, you have to value yourself. You can't, like, let people define what beauty is to you because you're never gonna be content and happy with someone else's definition of beauty. And I think that if you let other people define you, like if you let someone say, oh, you're pretty and you're riding on their definition of beautiful, they can switch up on you, you know? They can say next day, they'll be like, no, you're not pretty anymore. And that could like completely destroy you. Versus whereas if you define yourself as beautiful and define the things that make you beautiful, I feel like you're never gonna switch up on yourself and you're always gonna be consist at this consistent state of like, okay, I don't need anyone to define me and tell me what is beautiful about me because I already know, you know? And then if they do agree with your opinion, it just is kinda like, okay, yeah, great. Awesome, thank you. I already knew, but it's good to know that someone else feels the same way too. <laughs> so I think the definition of beauty is defined by how you perceive yourself as beautiful and what about yourself you think is beautiful. Melissa Minimode said, do you have a P.O. box? No, unfortunately I do not. How many siblings do you have? I have six sisters. So yeah, there's seven of us, seven girls. Basically Gabby101 said, I'm black as well and I live in, in a predominantly Caucasian school district. School district, have you ever faced discrimination or stereotyping because of your skin color, nationality, or race? Um, I'd have faced discrimination. I kind of just brushed it off when it did happen because I really didn't think of it like that. I was very, it was like at a point where I was still kind of naive to it. So I didn't think much of it, but at that, like looking back on it, it was like, wow, that's kind of crazy. Emily Byer, what makeup product can you not live without? My brows, like, I cannot. <laughs> if you guys have seen my uh, brow tutorial, you guys know why I can't live without my brows. Like, I, I just can't, I, I can't, I, I can't. 
I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> I, I am MKS. Any recommendations for dark skin with yellow undertones? Um, I do not have that many big, that many recommendations for dark skin girls with yellow undertones. I think the Lori L C nine might be a more of a yellow undertone versus the C10, which is a little more of a redder undertone. Um, recently, I just did a review on the Makeup Forever, the new Makeup Forever com uh, foundation that just came out. I think it was the Ultra HD, um, and I don't, I couldn't decide whether or not if it was just not dark enough or if it was just the wrong undertone. I think it might have been the wrong undertones. That might be a good choice for yellow undertones. What's your career? Are you majoring in college if you are in college? So currently I am not in college. Um, I did go to school when I first started off in college. I did go to school for nursing. Um, I got accepted into nursing school, did all the things that I needed to do. And then year one of actual nursing school, like the actual program, I decided that it was no longer gonna be the correct career choice for me, only because I'm very empathetic and I feel like hardcore, like I feel emotions hardcore. I have so much respect for nurses because it's just, anyone in the medical field, period, I have a lot of respect for them because it requires so much strength to not break down on a consistent basis because you're basically working with sick people and dying people and it's just it could I couldn't have done it I feel like it would have pushed me into this state of depression that I didn't want I didn't even want to like play around with it so I was just like I can't this is not for me so I decided to go to school um, and change I decided to change my major and try um, marketing and then marketing bored the living hell out of me so I was just like, you know what, I just need to take some time, figure out what I really, really want to do. I mean, honestly, I already knew what I wanted to do. I am obsessed with fashion. I'm obsessed with makeup. I'm obsessed with just that alone. But if you're African, you know my struggle. Like, I had to either be a doctor, a nurse, or a lawyer. Like, and it was just kind of like, I didn't want to be any of that. So I kind of was like, I'm not going to keep wasting my time. And wasting money on a career path that I don't want to pursue so I kind of stepped back from school for a little bit and I feel like that was the best thing I've ever done for myself because I was pursuing career choices and spending money on things that I felt like weren't working for me so now I'm in a really good place who is your biggest inspiration my biggest inspiration is honestly my father he went through a lot and I just kind of want to make sure I make him proud. So I think that's my biggest inspiration. That's my biggest drive. Carrie Sizzler said, would you ever make your own makeup line for dark skin? Of course, like that is goals for sure. Like I didn't know that makeup was such a passion of mine until I actually started playing with it. I always knew fashion was a passion of mine, like from jump, like I was like 12 and I was like, this is it, this is my thing, my scene. But um, I didn't know that I was that into makeup until I started playing around with it and then realizing that I didn't really have much to work with. So <laughs> um, yeah, definitely I would love to create my own makeup line and for dark skin and not only just for dark skin, like being on YouTube has kind of like opened my eyes to the struggles that um, the paler girls go through too. And it's kind of like, dang, so they just left out both sides of the spectrum. <laughs> they just focus it on the middle and it's kind of like disappointing. So I would definitely do a makeup brand that caters towards dark skin, but I would, obviously, I would definitely keep everybody else in mind as well. What foundation, powder, highlight, and contour shades do you use? Okay, foundation, I, if I had to choose one, I would choose L'Oreal C10. Powder, um, you guys already know I'm like ride or die for the uh, RCMA setting powder, the no color powder. Highlighter, I'm currently obsessed with the e.l.f. Blush Gems Contour. I love the Amuse Smoky Eyes. If I'm feeling extra, I'll go in with the Ben Nye Beard Sticker. 
If you had to use just one makeup brand for a year, which one would you pick? If you could only use five products to do a glam look, what would you use? Love your channel. Thanks, boo. Most makeup companies don't get it all the way, all the way consistently right for my skin tone. Uh, if I had to use only five products, okay, so one, I would use the uh, Wonder Brow Gel in Jet Black for my brows. I would use L'Oreal C10 for my foundation. I would use um, LA, LA Girl Pro Conceal in Dark Cocoa for my highlight. Uh, ooh, I only have two more. Okay, I would use, I can't forget highlight. Like, I can't forget that. So I would use the um, e.l.f. Blush Gems for my highlight. And I have one more. Okay. Um, it's between lashes and, oh. But glam, you can't do glam without lashes. Because I have itty bitty lashes. Damn. Okay, lipstick. I would use the Sephora Always Red lipstick. And that would be my glam look. <laughs> okay, last one on Instagram is Taryn1D said, You can only wear three makeup products for the rest of your life. What do you choose? Brows foundation and lipstick brows foundation and lipstick those are the three yes sold done don't second guess don't second guess the first question i got on snap is what hair were you wearing in your collab with melanin rich and second what would you say is your favorite go-to all-time skincare product Ooh. okay so um the hair that i was wearing is um it's not this hair obviously it's the Ali Pearl hair in um, Brazilian straight, and I dyed that red. So that's the color that I was wearing. That's the hair that I was wearing. And then second, what is my go-to all-time skincare favorite skincare product? I've honestly been super obsessed with the Elf um, Prep and Prime. Um, it's just super, super hydrating, and I love it, love it, love it. So what do I love most in the world? I love humanity, honestly. I love humans being nice to other humans and loving other humans as humans should. Um, John Sue said, can I teach you how to speak Arabic? LOL, so random. No, to be honest, like I really, really want to learn Arabic. Like I really, really want to learn. I think it was one of my goals for this year to learn Arabic. I think I'm, I'm behind, like I need to get on it. But I really do want to learn Arabic. So if you want to teach me, hey, let's do it. <laughs> Um, Mrs. Fab Beauty said, my question is, are you married? Is YouTube your full-time job? I am not married. <laughs> um, and is YouTube my full-time job? Honestly, YouTube has done an amazing thing for me and it has given me the option to continue working or not. I do continue working on my with my other job now, just a lot less hours, which is a blessing. I could completely quit. I just choose not to. Okay, next question is, does your confidence ever make you, does your confidence ever make you feel insecure? I know it's an odd question, but like, I know I'm personally speaking, I can become so com so comfortable in my skin and confident that it turns people off from me or like scares guys slash people away, not to be confused with arrogance, but like, yeah, I hope that makes sense. No, I get what you're saying. Um, <clears throat> Sometimes people that aren't as secure in themselves do not like to be around people that are more comfortable with themselves. It kind of puts them in this space where they feel like it's not you for sure. Don't If you're not being arrogant or cocky or anything like that and it's just other people being like slightly insecure in themselves, don't let that make you not as confident don't let that make you like dull your shine because at the end of the day they're gonna find their shine they're gonna find their light and they're not gonna want someone to do that to them so my confidence doesn't really make me uncomfortable or insecure it kind of just reminds me that not everybody has gotten to this point so i kind of like sympathize with people a little bit more and i kind of tend to try and give people more chances than i should sometimes but after I've given you a few chances to like, for us to get on some kind of common ground, I kind of just stopped trying. So no, it doesn't really make me feel insecure. What inspires you as a person? 
Um, what inspires me as a person is like spreading love. Like, I genuinely feel like the world has so, we have so much more to gain from this world than we're even tapping into right now. And I feel like one thing that inspires me is just spreading love and positivity throughout the world and just like letting it spread so much so that it, it infects people. I really want my energy and my positivity to infect people so that they keep passing on this like energy of love and passion and positivity so that the whole world just becomes super positive and loving. I know it sounds super cheesy, but I feel like we're not taking our taking full advantage of the world that we are living in. Gypsy City 99 asked, "How do you motivate yourself or what do you do to get out of a negative mood?" <laughs> if you guys want to know truly, it takes a lot to put me in like a very negative headspace. Um, but once I'm there, unfortunately I'm there, I kind of just need to like take a step back from whatever put me in that space. Like if I'm editing a video and my computer keeps crashing and it, ca it crashes like 10 times or whatever and it just puts me in this negative headspace, I kind of just have to take a step back from it. Maybe go take a nap. Like I tell people all the time when I get super frustrated, super upset, I'm just like, I just need to sleep. I need to go sleep it off. Because once I wake up, like I'll just be like, okay, fine, let's get it, let's get it done, let's get it done. Um, how do I motivate myself? I have always been super ambitious, so I think that's something that keeps me going. Also knowing that I kind of took the unconventional route, um, being an African person, an African woman, I kind of took the unconventional route. I didn't pursue the school route, so that motivates me a lot because I feel like I have a lot to prove. Uh, Sprinter gal said, hey Tang, love your skin. Just want to know where you are, where are you from, if you don't mind. I am from Uganda. Hey girl, I am from South Sudan. I am South Sudanese. I am from the Nord tribe. Uh, and yeah, that's where I'm from. Someone said, why are you so beautiful? And come to London, please. <laughs> I want to come. I just want to travel, honestly. I used to hate traveling, but seeing you guys from so many different parts of the world just like kind of ignited this like, oh my God, I just want to travel the world. There's so many places out there that I have not experienced yet, and I kind of just want to like see them all. So London, let's make it happen, man. Janice. Ongoya said, why won't you do hair videos? Your hair is always on point and you are teaching us your ways. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Okay, so I guess I can address this now. The reason why I don't do hair videos, um, I have had a few hair companies reach out to me. I've kind of just been like, nah, because I do make my own wigs and I do sew in my own hair and do I do all of my hair by myself but it takes me like 10 hours. So I'm just like, don't take tips from anyone that takes 10 hours to do their hair. <laughs> I know I wouldn't. I would not take no tips from me. Mm -mm. I will try my best from now on to have linked, to link down in the description box what hair I'm wearing um, so that it can help you guys a little bit. Um, but that's why I don't do hair videos. It's um, Allure Gadsen said, how do you deal with hate comments? I see them, they make me laugh, and then if I feel like I need to delete it, I will. If I don't, and it's just stupid, like if it's just a stupid comment, like, oh, I think your hair looks like trash, like I'll leave it, because it's just like, that's just your perspective, you know, it's okay. And it's like, okay, great, well, I really thought my hair was pretty banging that day, but okay thanks though but if it's like something like derogatory or just in like insanely negative i'll delete it and i won't think about it ever again what would you be doing if you were never introduced to the idea of youtube um if i was never introduced to the idea of youtube i would probably be doing if i had my true passion i would probably be starting on designing my own clothing line which would probably eventually manifest into makeup and I would probably be doing the same thing still. <laughs>
So I think that's what I'd be doing um, if I was never introduced to the idea of YouTube. Bird Song Bird said, I often feel like my friends don't see or appreciate their own exquisite radiance nearly as much as I would like them to. What can I do to help them see it? If you read this, thank you so much for the, your time. I love you and I love your vlogs. You're such a sweetheart. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Um, if you... I think people struggle to take other people seriously. Like whenever I was growing up and struggling, people would tell me that I was pretty and that like I was beautiful and stuff like that. And I just never took them seriously. I never accepted the fact that they thought that I was pretty because I didn't feel pretty in myself. I didn't know where my self-worth was. So I think something that might help is maybe like taking your friends to like workshops like do workshops together or listen to certain things together because they genuinely have to build their confidence within themselves and find the like find their beauty within themselves first before they take anyone else seriously because if they don't take themselves seriously they're not going to take anything that anyone else says to them seriously so i think do workshops maybe like just like have some like friend time and like Take bomb pictures, you know, when your friend takes a cute selfie, you, you better tell her she had a bomb ass selfie because that helps too. That helps to build the confidence a little bit. So just uplift them. You're already doing what you need to do by telling them that you think they're exquisite. And that's such an amazing word to use because those words are not used very often. So you're doing good. They just need to find it for themselves. Um, are you single? Why are you so cute? I am not single. That's all of the questions for the Q&A. Thank you guys so much for actually even sending me questions. That's insane. Like, I never thought that I'd be doing this. So I appreciate you guys so much. You guys have been so, so sweet. Thank you guys for letting me be me and, like, liking it, I guess. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Lots of love, and I'll see you guys next time.